in the previous videos, we created an extension which allowed us to manipulate the input file, so splitting the uh, input and the .txt, the extension and the file name. Uh, and this was used in our function when we were reading in our file. Uh, now we're going to learn how to write and create a new file. So again, I'm going to create a new function. This one will be called write file. And we're going to be using these a lot throughout this data science uh, project. So if you haven't, uh, if you haven't uh, followed the previous videos, please make sure that you do. Uh, so this is my output file. It'll be of type string. Uh, we're also going to input the data, which will also be a string. Okay, this one will not return anything. So we're going to split the file. We did this previously. So I can copy this from my data file. This is using our extension here to split that file name. Okay, uh, this isn't using the input file. This is now using the output file. Okay, and then going to get the file URL. And the last thing that I'll do is to save the data. Okay, so let the file URL equal try file manager default URL and then we'll say the desktop. So this will only work again if your playground file is saved on the same place as the other file which you're trying to manipulate. If my output file is not available, then I do want to create one, so that's fine. Let my output file equal file URL. So again, now I'm using this, what I just created. Uh, pending path component. And I'll use my file name append the extension, I'll use my file extension, okay, and then I'm going to save my data. So we're going to create a guard here, again I've explained guards before, but if you do need a refresher please go back to the previous videos. Uh, string data, I'm going to get the data from there. Uh, we're going to encode this using UTF-8, uh, which is the encoding of my file. Uh, if that doesn't work, then we want to print out some sort of notification. I'm able to convert string to data. Oops, let's do a quotation mark, uh, and then it will return. Okay, then we're going to do some handling. So this data hasn't been used yet, but that's fine. So we're going to do catch, etc. So we're going to try and write this data. Data dot write to the output file. And then we're going to print we have some sort of uh, notification of what's actually come out. Uh, and if it doesn't work, then let's use that localized description again uh, to output that. Okay, no returns for this one. Uh, we're just writing to the file. Okay, so let's give this a go. So first thing we need to do is read my file. Uh, so I'm going to read that in like we did in the previous video. Uh, and then I want to call this new function, which is write file. Uh, my output file will be called output.txt. What data am I going to put in there? I'm going to put in my data, which I've read from the other file. So hopefully it's just going to transfer that between the other files. So currently on my desktop, I do not have an output file. I've only got my input. So I'm going to run this code. Okay, 
Okay, I can see four bytes is written. My input was text. Okay, I now have an output file on my desktop. Inside that file is my message which I wrote. Okay, so as a part of some of these uh, data science informatics problems that you're going to tackle, uh, you're going to be reading in some data, you're going to be manipulating it, and you're going to be outputting uh, to that, that directory. So that is how we can write to a file.